Thank you. All right, Katie, are we good with Sarah? <clears throat> so up next is Sarah Eisenhart. And she's going to be doing back-to-back uh, -back presentations on how to use Canva and also about using Facebook to promote your post. Uh, Sarah is served in the U.S. Army from 1999 to 2007. She is a member of American Legion Post 108 in Oxford. She is also a Talma Award winner, as you, meant, as you heard earlier. Uh, she's also involved with programs at the department level. I would love to tell you what she does in her spare time, but I don't think she has any. In addition to her volunteer work, Sarah and her husband, Ray, are the parents of nine children. Please welcome Sarah Eisenhart. Hello. I'm going to share my screen here. Hopefully technology will um, allow me to to do this today. Okay, can you guys see my screen well? Yes. Okay. So actually we're pretty much gonna skip through these slides because um, that's just my, my intro here, which was already done for me. It is true that we have nine children. So this is my spare time. Oops. So we're gonna talk about Canva today. I put a video in here um, just because I'm, if this needs to be posted later on the Media Alliance website um, or the, on our social media, then somebody who maybe didn't watch live can access it later and see just a quick little video. Um, so what, the, what I like most about um, Canva is that it's very user-friendly. Um, you can keep in line with your professional design, branding, and um, you have access to visual content, which helps get your readers to stop and read. Um, I just put an example on here of what we do for if we're having a blood drive. Um, so this is just kind of something that we would put out to the community and share with them what's happening. My, my, you see my bottom screen wants to keep popping up. So what I'm going to do is take you guys through a design. Um, just so you can see quickly how user friendly it is. If there's anybody who has access to Canva and wants to get on their website and, and do it with us, feel free. Um, if you just wanna play around with some buttons while we're doing it. So, and I, as a matter of fact, I used Canva just to do this presentation. Um, some of the things, for example, our department stuff, uh, we are soon going to be announcing, actually probably after a convention here, deadlines for um, Law Officer Firefighter of the Year awards. Um, we, we pretty much use Canva for everything, right up to if we're having, let me zoom in here, a special at our post. So this you see is just for a meatloaf dinner. I check with the uh, hey, with uh, Sarah. Yes, Sarah. Can I? I need to interrupt you for a second. Okay. Um, back up a little bit and just um, where where would a person? Where do they start with Canva? Is it a website? Where do they go and what do they need? What do they need to do to kind of get started on it? Yes. So it's just at Canva.com. There you can get a free. Um, Everybody can have a free account. There's no cost to it. Um, there's also a paid version and um, there's also a nonprofit version where you can have access to more stuff. You just have to apply for that um, on Canva's website. Um, they do require 501c3 and a lot of American Legions are only um, of uh, C19. So if you have a different C3 within your post, 
Uh, for example, I, I believe most of the auxiliaries are C3s, then you could apply under your auxiliary or your sons or even possibly your riders, just depending on how, how they stand with the IRS. Does that answer your question there? Yes, it does, thank you. Okay. Um, so right off the, right from the beginning, I mean, this is, this is so user-friendly that um, if, you, if you just picked anything, like at the top here, you can see there's presentation, social media, which we'll, we'll do today, a social media post, just because that's going to be what I'm presenting next. And just click anything. So I chose on that one a, a Facebook post. And um, over here is a lot of your options. They'll say, can you see my mouse too? Where it says like pro down here, that would be a pro version. So not like a free one. If it doesn't have that, then it's included. Oh, I wish I could hear you guys too, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to type veteran in the top here and see, then you, then you can kind of show up. These ones are already themed. And so all you would do to edit these is select anything on here and then just scroll over something and you can click on anything and change it. So if we wanted to change this picture, we would just go over to the elements and search for any other picture that we wanted. And then you just kind of drag and drop it. And then it will move things around for you. Um, you can upload your own stuff. So we have, and actually on Telma's, um, website on the American Legion's website, if you specifically type in Telma, they have um, a media kit and logos that are available. And if you load them on to Canva, then you can just, you actually do that by uploading media up here and then it'll keep it there for you permanently. Let's call this veterans event. Uh, I'm going to use an example. Like if we had, if we were going to um, host an event that was just for veterans, uh, maybe like a veterans day lunch. And uh, I would put like a, all of the wins, like a time, let me just type that in, time, date, your location, just the basic stuff. And this is actually something you can use. I'm gonna kind of combine this a little bit with the social media. Once you, once you did all of this, you could send this on to your local, um, newspaper or your veteran organizations or anywhere that you have joined to share this kind of information. You can post this on your social media. You could put this on your website. You could add it into a newsletter, um, kind of combining everything that we've talked about throughout the whole day. And um, it's, it's really that simple. So I don't know if you guys want me to show you something specific. Uh, but from here, there's, there's a save button. It already has a suggestion for you. PNG works excellent for posting on to social media. Um, I never really change the size or, or the file type unless I really need it. <clears throat> if it was something I was just going to print, I would probably do it in a PDF. Otherwise, PNG posts best to social media. Um, but you download it, save it to your computer, and then you have it available for use later on. 
Um, and again, I'm going to go to some of the things that we've that we've done. And so this is kind of just a community outreach thing. Again, reminding um, the folks in our community the thing, some of the things that we do and offering them an opportunity to reconnect with us and also just kind of like <clears throat> keeping that brand um, alive within, the, within our community. So that way they know who we are and what we're doing. There is a brand kit available on here. Um, once you load your, earlier where I showed you where you could upload a, a logo, once you select it, actually I left one. So I have an untitled, untitled palette here and I can select this logo and it will kind of create one for me. And it'll take all the colors that are used within this specific logo. And then I can just name this Thelma and it will always permanently be there. So if I want to go back and create something, I could just, these will always pop up for me as color options. And so I'm keeping in line with that branding um, for the American Legion and Thelma which you see the colors are a little bit different than the Legion colors are. Are there any questions so far on this? It does not look like it. Okay. Um, okay, presentations of you pretty much saw one when we went from the beginning, social media, there are videos. I've never done a video on here, so I can't really talk to that. Um, and we don't really have like a marketing budget set right now. So I don't do anything with that either. Um, but really this, there's so many templates go from everything. You could do your newsletters on here. Um, would you guys like me to show you one? I've done I've done newsletters on this before. Uh, yeah, why don't you show us newsletters uh, with photos? Okay. Oh boy, maybe I don't have newsletters saved on here right now. Um. Search mine. Okay, I don't see my newsletters on this one. They might be on a separate account that I have. But here is one that I actually did for um, the Oh goodness, one of the American Legion publications asked me to write something. So this is kind of what, how you would maybe set up a newsletter where you could add different photos and some information. Um, sorry, down here, if anybody wants to write down my email, I could put it somewhere else also, but I did offer some one-on-one -on -one training. So if anybody had something specific that they wanted to learn or if they wanted like a slowed down kind of training on how to use Canva, um, I am available to do that. And if you search for Canva, I believe on the American Legion website, you'll be able to find that information also. So it again, it's really just user-friendly except for the fact that every time you click something, it wants to open a new, <laughs> a new page. Um, you can, oh, something else you can do here, your content planner, you can actually, there's a calendar built right in here. And so you can create stuff and have it assigned already to certain dates that you want it to post automatically for you. 
Um, you can also create a team. So there's only a certain number of people that are allowed on your team, even if, even if you have a paid subscription, I believe it's 10. Um, so if you wanted to get together with other posts in your area, or if you have multiple um, people within your department or post that want to contribute, then you guys can share designs and they'll all be saved in the, in your design uh, tab here. Was that, was I hearing Sarah. a question? Uh, yeah, a quick question. Um, the content schedule, or, or I assume that's for social media, is that um, in the free version or is that the paid version? For the content planner? Right. That's a good question. I actually am not sure. I'm in a, uh, I'm in a, in a nonprofit version right now. So it's like a paid version. It's just gifted to me. Is there anything else you wanted to show on uh, Canva? Um, I don't believe so. Okay. If I mean, if there's um, any questions or if anybody wants to see something specific, I just wanted to run through a quick how-to. Um, but again, if anybody would like a more one-on-one -on -one opportunity where it's kind of slowed down, I know I had to, you know, put this into a half an hour with questions, so. And your email address is what again? Uh, Sarah. If someone wants to reach out. It, that would be Sarah with an H, post 108 at Gmail. Okay. All right. I don't think there's any more or any questions on Canva. So uh, do you want to go right into Facebook? Absolutely. Okay. So for, let me just pull up my notes here really quick. Okay. If that's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share my screen for just a minute. Okay, Facebook, the, one of the biggest things is getting people to follow you on Facebook. It's probably one of the trickiest and one of the easiest combined. So I feel like one of the, the tricks is just making sure that you're, you are pushing this out to everybody possible and um, giving them different ways to find you. So obviously just by using social media, um, this card that's in front of you is actually something that is going out for us starting on September 1st. This will be at the entrance of our post. And then we will also put them out on the tables um, for fish fry. That's when we have our biggest traffic um, is Friday nights um, for our fish fry. So they'll be out and we will just continue to invite people to, to um, find our page and follow us. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing here and close that down. Um, so things that you want to use social media for, again, this is gonna be for branding. Um, the American Legion is, is probably one of the most, if not the most recognized um, brand already for veteran services. Um, but I don't mean just in branding as far as like what our logo is, I mean, putting out there who you are, what your post does. Um, I'm probably gonna use some of the words <laughs> that we were taught earlier to not use, but really just getting, um, making that connection with your community. I can't tell you how many times I hear things like, uh, people, are, people still look at us as the old men that sit around a bar and that is not what the American Legion does. So 
um, I take great pride myself in explaining and sharing with people how we support youth programs, um, what we do on the Americanism end as far as um, recognizing our first responders. Um, Gosh, there's so much. I just, I put out something, a call today with everything that we do, uh, scholarship opportunities, baseball. The, I guess the list is really endless. Um, so something that you might wanna do uh, using social media, I'm gonna probably focus mostly on Facebook, um, is really just joining groups, joining community groups, joining different pages, if you share your information with um, bed, other veteran service organizations, any colleges that are local to you, there's a huge number of veterans that are using their, their uh, benefits for school. And um, actually I myself am part of the Student Veterans of America organization. And just at my local community college alone, there are I think like 2,800 members. So it just really helps expand your audience. Um, and this is a good time of year that all of these student organizations are having uh, back to school kind of like fair days where they explain what they do, all these clubs like the BS, uh, SVA and you could share your information with them locally and invite members to your post. Um, so these would obviously be veterans and also uh, people who are actively serving and their families who are part of the, uh, part of these organizations. Um, we have our local veteran service organization that shares almost everything that we put out there. Um, and we do the same for them. So if they're ho hosting an event, um, they right now they're doing a lot of like food giveaways and things like that, just because we still have a lot of that happening around us because of COVID. Um, it, it's kind of like patting each other's back type of thing, pushing each other's social media pages out. Uh, something I do want to talk about really quick is when you are running social media, it has to be run by a person. Um, it, it can't be, you can't just have a business page without having an actual person connected to it. And that would be a personal profile. Because of, because of that, I'm going to recommend that you have multiple people that are administrators on your social media page. And, um, I'll give you an example of something terrible because we're going through it right now. Today's the first day that I've had access back to our Facebook page after a week. Uh, one of our administrators personal Facebook pages was hacked and that kind of had a domino effect on our American Legion page. We did not have access to it. The name of the page was changed to it was called 90s outfits. Uh, they changed the, our website. They took our phone number away. They tried to set a, an advertising budget of $2.1 million per week uh, that was tied to my personal bank account. So while well, I don't wanna scare you away from it, it cost me $0 in only seven days of waiting to be able to fix it. Um, unfortunately, that kind of tested me today when I when I finally got access back to it on really pushing out these messages to the community that we had this issue, we were hacked. If anything was posted, um, we're sorry. It's not, obviously doesn't line up with our views. And then we invited them to come back and join us again at our Facebook page. Um, we reminded, we set out a visual reminder using Canva of the things that we do in the community and how we are deeply rooted here. Um, and so I think just today we're back up to another 200 and 240 plus people following us. And so it's just a really big push that you have to do at first. Um, 
and I'll, it'll probably take me a week or two to get our numbers back to where they were. Um, okay. Oh, also networking. So your social media is a really great place to get those media calls out. If you would like um, a news organization, a newspaper, um, chamber of commerce, any of those veteran organizations or schools that we were talking about to contribute or to show up to an event, it's really easy to create one of those visual contents and then just push it to them in Messenger. Um, I think that since I took over our Facebook page, we've had at least, at least once a month for every month, we've been published in some sort of newspaper um, or magazine within our community. And so I know that is obviously working to get the word out about what we're doing. Um, and it's, it takes maybe five minutes. If, as long as you have your list, once you create it the first time, it's just a couple minutes to push that information out to everybody. So are there any questions about that? Did you hear that, Sarah? I did not. Okay. Um, the question is about the U URL code and how you get that, um, and basically the process for getting it. Okay. QR code. Okay, so there are QR code generators, um, but if I share my screen again, let me share my screen and go to my Facebook page if that's okay. Oh, I think I have to open it first. Okay. Let me get to our Facebook. Sorry, there's not really a quick way to do this. Okay, so over here's pages. If you go to the page um, after you've created it and creating a page is like a whole nother, that, that would be a whole nother training and probably a longer time period for training on making a page. So if anybody needs help with that, you could also email me. Um, Anyways, if you go in here and you go to edit your page information, all the way at the bottom, they create a QR code for you. So if anybody needs to write that down, it would just be under your, your manage page and then edit page info. Is there a, a, one of the QR code generators that you recommend for using? You know, when I've done that in the past, I would just Google search QR code generator. And then obviously you'd want to find a free version. Unless, of course, your post has a, a budget for your advertising. Mine does not. I still consider, oh, I'm sorry. I've just closed my screen down. Okay, I'm not sharing any longer, right? No, we see, we see you. Oh, okay, well, I'm sipping on my coffee. <laughs> um, so my post, I still consider myself the new person at my post. And so um, they're still getting used to me and I'm like jumped in and hands on. And they, they kind of signed me up like, oh, welcome to the post. Would you like to be our Americanism chair? And I don't think that they they thought I was actually gonna like take that and run run with it. So now they're now they're like, whoa, slow down. So yes, we don't have an advertising budget. So everything I do has to be kind of like free or you know, and it, it's just free. I'm not gonna fund any of that myself, but um, especially not two point one million dollars a week. <laughs> I wish I had that. 
Tim, did you have a question? Um, one thing I really like about the Talma Facebook page is that um, people, you know, from across the American Legion put, put things on there and then I can use some of it for social media myself. Um, so Sarah, uh, I want to encourage you to put some of your great creations up on the Talma Facebook page so I can steal them. Okay. So, uh, is that cool? <laughs> I wish I wish if I could invite people to my Canva page, see if if I could make some changes, it would be something like that. Or if Telma had a way where we could um, create like where we could just add stuff to a file with them and then other people could download it, that would be great. I understand we do have the Facebook page, but at the same time, not everybody uses that. Um, but it would be nice. Like I couldn't put a Canva creation up there and have you change the, um, you know, like the address or the date and time and things like that. But generic stuff, I'm more oh, no. than happy to. And yeah, I also think the, if, if Telma would that. allow me to, if we did like a call to action for the media that all of us could use, like one generic thing, um, you know, where we're inviting the media to one of our events or out to the post, or if we're meeting somewhere else, you know, for a ribbon cutting or a, a memorial going up or what have you, then it would be like an, a generic invite. Um, that might be something that I could create uh, in the coming, I'm gonna say weeks because this next week of mine, I'm going on vacation. Yeah, I'm, I'm not talking about like, if you have like a, event one that's you know fish fry or whatever is going on but like uh maybe you have one that says something like the legion we rock or something and then that would be applicable wherever i uh, uh you know i could use it in other places as a you know just general promotion so so if you ever make something that you think hey other other folks might use this too feel free to put it up there is that is that cool yeah i think the um you know part of the point of the the Facebook page for Telma is is to share ideas and, and that kind of thing. So, um, you know, being able to uh, share a template on there or ideas on, on how you were able to, you know, generate membership through a campaign, that kind of thing. Um, the more the merrier that go up on there, um, I think would be great. And, you know, to Sarah's point, we did look at trying to create some sort of document where people could share resources and that kind of thing. And I think with the restrictions of a private Facebook group page, we're a little hamstrung with that, but um, I, do, I do think it's a great idea. I think it's something that we can develop um, and, and we just have to figure out how to make that easy for the user and, and also where it's, uh, where it's a Telma um, property too. So I think that's a good thing that we can work on in, in the coming year. Um, anything else, um, Sarah, you wanna talk about related to Facebook? Um, I, would, I would recommend if, um, you know, we haven't been in, meetings for the summer at our particular post but i would recommend to anybody if you guys did come up with a budget even if you asked your your post for um you know to be able to run say a ten dollars every other week ad so you're talking you know what do we have 52 weeks in a year or so 26 260 dollars a year for Facebook advertisings, um, that's a good way to just, you know, they have call to action buttons where you can invite people to come like and follow. And if you did that for a year and got your numbers up to, you know, a couple thousand people within your community, you don't just ask for likes for, from anybody. Um, you know, it's not gonna make too much of a difference if somebody, you know, three states away is, looking at your fish fry events, you're not gonna make a lot of money that way or bring a lot of traffic in. But if you narrow it down um, locally, I think that might be a, a benefit. 
And and I think that's a really great idea. Um, the, one of the good things that Facebook does is allows you to do uh, really targeted marketing. So, you know, what Sarah was saying is that if you do have a fundraiser or an event or something that you wanted to spread the word out beyond your post, you could go on to Facebook and you could create that um, ad and, and you can pick the amount of money you want to spend too. So for 50 bucks, you get X number of views or 10 bucks or whatever you put as your budget. And you can also target it so that only people in your zip code who um, are from this age to this age who, and you can also target by um, interests um, like veterans and military community and that kind of thing. So you can really segment it to where instead of putting um, a little ad in a newspaper, which goes you know, to anybody, um, you can really target the people who you want to bring into the post for that event. Any, uh, any questions for Sarah? All right, Sarah, thank you so much for doing this. This was great. Thank you.